What up, beautiful people? Welcome to Spilled Milk, where there's no point in crying over spilled milk. Why? Because we weren't going to drink it anyway. Today, I'm giving a really surprising yet grateful shout out to a restaurant that did an amazing job with my dairy allergy. It is surprising to me because I would never have expected this place to care. Um, not to care, that's kind of harsh, but like, they're a chain restaurant, um, and chain restaurants aren't really that great at catering to dietary restrictions. Um, it's not one that I've really heard of as being particularly great for dairy-free individuals. So I was really surprised to so picture it. I went to Virginia for a trip with my friends to a place that has a really cute uh, fall festival um, and like a really, I guess, good haunted thing at night. I didn't do that part, so I can't really tell you, but my friends liked it. So in between the fall festival and the haunted thing, we went to dinner and we went to Texas Roadhouse. So we get to Texas Roadhouse because one of my friends had never been and we're like, you got to go for the bread. If you know nothing else, you know Texas Roadhouse rolls are good and you got to go for the bread. So we get there. Um, we have to wait for about 20 minutes or so. They already get points with me because I had the Florida game on. I'm a huge Florida Gators fan. I'm a double Gator, proud alum. So I was already happy about that. As I'm sitting at the bar waiting for my friends to come in and say it's time to get seated, so the waitress asked me if I need anything and I asked for some bread without the butter on it because their rolls are amazing. Butter or no butter, if you can go and just get the rolls, that's, that's a trip well done. Like that is a trip worth taking because their rolls are so good. So the waitress brings me that. Um, we go and sit down. Thankfully, still where I can see the game and the Gators did win, by the way. It was an Auburn game. Um, and so I had, I think we were, our actual waitress had come over and gotten drinks and was coming back. And so we asked for, at this point, she brought us bread, um, and we were, we were both running low on the buttered and the non-buttered bread. And so I asked her just for some more bread without butter, and she's like, oh, I don't know if we can do that. And I was like, well, I think you can, like, you know, you can, because the other girl did it for me, but I also just have a dairy allergy. And she's like, okay, there may be some butter in the bread, I'll check on that, and I'll see. And I'm like, okay, cool. So here's the thing. I just casually mentioned I have a dairy allergy. Depending on where I am and the level of care I feel like people will or won't take is depends on how much I emphasize my dairy allergy. Texas Roadhouse is not a place I anticipate any problems. Um, they mainly sell steak and sides, um, like ribs and stuff like that, but it's not a place heavy on the dairy. The most I anticipated was having the steak brushed with butter, because some places will do that. But I knew I could just say like, please no butter on that, or just, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. Honestly, I wasn't really pressed or worried about having to really emphasize and like let it be known extra care needs to be taken and so casually mentioned oh you know I have a dairy allergy if you get some, get me some more of that butter that'd be great um so I went to Sydney shout out to Sydney she came back had non-buttered bread and I was like cool thank you so we gave her our orders um and I had actually asked her too if it was possible if the butter that came with the bread was actually real butter or margarine a lot of places actually depending on the I don't want to say quality, but depending on the fanciness of the restaurant as to whether they use butter or margarine. Margarine, the health issue, the health benefits are questionable, but it's definitely dairy free for the most part. It's usually dairy free. Um, and so if it was margarine, I'm like, like usually diners would use like margarine. A restaurant will use like butter. Um, so it depends on the quality of the place. You can kind of like almost make an educated guess as to whether it's actually dairy or just margarine. And so I had asked her, is the actual butter for the rolls butter? And she's like, oh, let me check on that. And so she said, yeah, it's actually butter. They whip it, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool, can't have it. Um, and so I placed my order for a steak, sweet potato, and fries. And so my friend who ordered sweet potato loaded, and she said, okay, do you want the sweet potato loaded with the butter? Oh, obviously not the butter, the cinnamon and the sugar. And I was like, yeah. And I heard noting, like, obviously not the butter. I was like, yeah, okay, she's paying attention. That's really cool. I appreciate that. She remembered that in the 15 minutes between me saying I have a DLG and me actually placing my order. Some people forget. And so she caught herself already and I was like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. Um, so we get food's coming out, everybody's food but mine is out. And so she comes to me and she says, so I put in there no dairy, dairy allergy, all the exclamation points as much as possible, and they still put dairy on the steak. And she explained to me the process. She's like, usually they like just do butter on the grill and then butter on the steak when it's done, they'll brush it. And she said, I told them not to do that. I put in all the information about your dairy allergy and they still did that. But our chef said that it's uh, margarine and to ask you if that mattered. And I was like, no, margarine is fine. If it's actually margarine, that's not dairy, it's fine. It's like, okay, cool. 
two minutes later the manager comes to me and says hey so you had the you know you have the dairy allergy and I was like yeah and so she goes I checked the ingredients of the margarine and turn and it says it does still have milk I'm not really sure how but that's what it says so we're redoing your steak for you and I was like thank you <laughs> like wow I was so surprised and so grateful because checking ingredients is a step above I myself with the dairy allergy with years of having lived with this make the assumption that margarine is dairy free so for her to not even just take my word for it, who I've said it's okay and it's my health, to, to double check and to check the ingredients um, was really was really awesome. I was really surprised and really grateful for that and really impressed for that to go, for them to take those actions to go above and beyond. The food was really good. I really appreciate that. Sydney got an extra tip and she's getting a shout out now because I really appreciate her and the manager for being um, really on top of it and being really on point and really caring. And I expressed that and I was like, thank you so much. She's like, yeah, of course I wouldn't, like that's important, your health is important. And I was like, it is. And thank you for, thank you for agreeing with, like, like partnering with me in this. Cause that's not always the experience, especially for a place that's a chain, that's usually not the experience. They usually don't have a lot of wiggle room for modifications. Um, so I, I really appreciate that. I was really, really grateful, really, really surprised. Um, brought some non-buttered rolls home and I actually ended up giving that to my co-workers who had never been in Texas Roadhouse because I was like y'all gotta try these like I will now be the purveyor of Texas Roadhouse rolls to those who need them because they are delicious highly recommend them non-buttered of course and they're delicious even so so shout out to Texas Roadhouse appreciate y'all surprised and grateful so thank y'all so much for that and that's it y'all I'll see you next time